My name is Abdurrahman and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own storefront. Now, a storefront is a simple tool which helps you sell all your products from one single page online and also very beautifully. Now, to get started, first you log into the Paystack dashboard, this is mine, and then you come right over here and click on storefronts. Now, if like me, you're creating your very first storefront, you're going to see a page like this and then you click on plus new storefront. When you do, you're supposed to enter the name of your storefront. So in my case, I want it to be the style shop. Next, you set your currency. Now in my case, I'm leaving this as Naira, NGN, but in your case, you could choose to set something else like say Ghana Cities or maybe even USD so far as you have international payments enabled for your account, your Paystack account. Now what this means is that the currency you set here is the currency that you are going to receive your payouts in. It's also the currency that your customers are going to see when they land on your storefront. Next, you get to edit your store link if you want to. Now your store link is what you share with your customers. It's what they click on to land on your storefront. In my case, I'm fine with this. So I'm going to leave it as paystack.shop slash the style shop. And then I click on create. Okay, now the next thing for me to do is to add products to my storefront. So I have two options. Option one is to set to select from a list of products that I may have created in the past, right? So in this case, I have created a number of products. I could simply select all of them and add them to my storefront. Or if you have not created any product, if you hadn't created any product before, you simply come right over here and click on plus new product. So let's do this first. Let's create a new product right from scratch. So plus new product. And then here you type in the name of your product. So in my case, let's call our products wine colored sneakers, right? And then um, you add a description. So in my case, I want my description to be a pair of comfortable and durable, let's say, wine-colored sneakers. Okay. And now for the price, let's say this pair of sneakers costs 4,000 there. And for our quantity, um, this is the number of sneakers that you have in stock, the number of products you have in stock. So it's limited in my case. So limited, say I have 20 pairs, right? And then here you get to select if this product contains one or more physical goods. So in my case, I'm selling a pair of sneakers. Obviously, that's a physical good. And then I, I click on this toggle right here. Now, if you are selling something like, say, an ebook, which is not a physical product, you would untoggle this. So this is how you would leave it. And why this is important is because it tells Paystack that since this is a physical product, please collect delivery address for me when customers are trying to pay for it right so obviously if you're selling something physical like a pair of sneakers you want to be able to collect your customers delivery address so you know where to deliver this physical product to next you click on next okay so here i get to add up to six high quality images gifs and also videos to make this product more appealing to customers Right, um, so let's start by adding a GIF to this. So you come here and click on plus new, plus add media. And it takes you to your computer where you can search for the files. So let's add this GIF here. Okay, and now it's uploading. So that's one GIF down and I could add, say, other photos, other GIFs if I have them, or even other videos. But in this case, I want to add a few more photos of the sneakers so that customers get to see what they're paying for. So I click on add more here, and then it takes me into my computer where I get to select these new photos that I want to add. Okay, so I'd like to add this one. I'd like to add this one, this, and this one. So I could add them one by one, but in this case, I want to select everything at once and then add them all at once okay so it's taking a while to upload we're just going to wait so again remember you can add up to six high quality images gifs and videos to make this product more appealing to your customers and all the photos have been uploaded and now we're going to just click on save to continue okay 
So now here you can see my wine colored sneakers. That's the only product in my storefront. So now let's go back and add more products. But this time around, instead of creating a new product right from scratch, we're just going to select some of the products that we had created that I had created before. So I want to add this black head warmer. I click on the checkbox next to it. This yellow face cap, this green sweatshirt, the blue shorts, and also the orange bag. Okay, so now I click on add products to storefront. All right, so now you can see all the products that I have on my storefront. So this is everything. Now the next thing we want to do is to customize the storefront, right? So to do that, we click on customize storefront here. Now the very first thing we're going to do is to change the background color of our storefront. To do that, you come here, click on change color, and then you can select one of the preset colors here. Or you can create a custom color of yours. To do that, you click on this plus sign here. And there's this fun slider that you can slide up, slide down, slide up again as you look for a color that works for you. But in our case, I liked this first color, so we're going to stick with that. Now the next thing we're going to do is to provide some information about our storefront, right? So um, welcome message and about us, like contact information, like your WhatsApp, all of that. So let's get straight into it. So we could edit our shareable link if we wanted to, but this is fine, so we're going to leave it as is. Next, we're going to add a welcome message. So in this case, then just type in something simple like, welcome to the style shop, and then I save. All right, um, so now an about us. Um, so let's say we are a boutique fashion shop in the heart of Lagos. So that's our about us, and then you click on save okay so now we get to add additional contact information like our whatsapp number for instance so let's say mine is this right and then say so it's the same my whatsapp number is also my phone number so i'm just doing a copy and paste here and here you have it so here we have our whatsapp number our phone number and also our email address so let's click on save now the next thing we'll do is to add social media accounts for the style shop, right? So you come here and click on add. So let's say our Instagram handle is style shop. And you simply enter it here, style shop. And this is the same for Facebook and it says the same for Twitter too, right? So you do all of that and then you click on save. Okay, so now you've provided all this information. Let's see what the customer sees, what it looks like to the customer when, if they were to buy from you. So to do that, we come right over here and click on preview. Okay, so this is what the customer sees when they click on your storefront. So you have the name of your storefront here and then all the products that you're selling here. So let's try to say you buy a product, right? So this wine colored sneakers, for instance, um, you get to select the quantity the number of quantity that you want and um, you can add to bag right and then you just keep shopping so let's keep let's close this while we keep shopping so here you have the name of your storefront you have the welcome message here you have the about us message which you wrote right and then here is your email address your phone number and here your twitter account so they can click here go to your twitter your instagram your facebook or click here to chat with you Right, so let's close this. It's the same thing you have right over here. So your Instagram account, your Twitter account, Facebook, and also WhatsApp. So let's go back to the Paystack dashboard now, and let's continue our setup. So the next thing we're going to do is come right over here and click on delivery to set our delivery preferences. Right, um, so here, um, our delivery address, do we want to collect it? Yes, required, so let's leave it as that. And also, do we want to collect delivery notes? Yes, so we leave it as, oh, let's make this optional. So we leave it as optional, but you could disable it and you could make it compulsory for your paying customers to add a delivery note. Let's just leave that as optional. So here now we are going to select, uh, we are going to set the delivery fees for all the locations that we deliver to. So um, this is a business in Nigeria, for instance. Um, let us say that it costs different amounts to deliver to several regions in Nigeria or several places in the world. So we come right over here, click on add delivery fee, and then we could say 
for delivery is within Lagos. It's say 1,000 Naira. You click on save, right? And you could say uh, maybe for delivery is in Nigeria, outside Lagos. Say that's like 2,000 Naira. And then you click on save. And then say we want to add one final option for outside Nigeria. We could make that say 3,000 Naira. And then you click on save. Right? And then we're all done with this page now. So the next thing to do is to set what happens after a customer makes a purchase. So we'll click on after purchase here and specify if we want to redirect the customer to another page after making a successful payment or simply show them um, a success message. So to do that, we come here and click on edit. So say we want to redirect the customer to a website which is specialpage.com. You put in the URL of that web page in here and then say we want to show them a success message, message like thank you for shopping with us okay and then you click on save all right so yes that's it um, this is how you create a pay stack storefront for yourself and again this is what your customer sees when they click on your storefront and this right here on the dashboard is where you get to create your own storefront so thank you so much for staying with me